everybody. Welcome back to Four Little Rocks and thanks for watching. I'm headed down the uh, slopes towards the Hukumba Mountains for the meetup with the San Diego Jeep Club for today's run of the Mica Gem Mine Trail. Today is the 2019 kickoff for the jeeping season with the San Diego Jeep Club and this run is open to the public. We expect a large crowd, a lot of new rigs, a lot of new people and I think it's going to be a great time. You know this is my third run out to this trail in just about five weeks. Uh, it started right before the Christmas season when Amy and John put on a non-sanctioned event to host uh, military and veterans out here for a quick day on the trails and that was a real blast, real good hoot for that day. And then on the second run I was invited to join the San Diego uh, Jeep Club board members and the Black Ops crew to scout the trail for today's mission and after we were done with that trail run we headed out on some difficult sections of the trail which was a really treat and I think I'll put that later on in this video. And then today's run, as I said, is an open to the public run. And uh, we're going to meet up here at Hukumba Mountains and head out on the trail and have a jolly good time uh, introducing others to the Jeep and life with the club. So stick around. Hope you enjoy the ride. And thanks for watching again. At the appointed place and time, east of San Diego in the Hukumpa Mountains, 68 Jeeps of all shapes, sizes, and colors, and over 100 humans gathered for another San Diego Jeep Club open event. There were red Jeeps, white Jeeps, blue Jeeps, green Jeeps, gray Jeeps, short Jeeps, long Jeeps, tall Jeeps, modified Jeeps, stock Jeeps, new Jeeps, and old Jeeps. There were club board members, the Black Ops crew, old members, and new members. There were even some furry companions. This was the kickoff event for the start of the new jeeping season for the club and it was open to the public to run the Mica Gem Mine Trail. The trail is rated as relatively easy with a few challenges but as you'll see for this open run stock jeeps are fully capable of rising to the challenge. The day started off with the obligatory safety meeting, a happy birthday celebration, and then everyone mounted up and we headed off for the trail. A very long jeep train resulted from the large gathering and the train moved smoothly through the first half of the event. The trail proved to be rather easy from the start, through the foothills, to the lunch gathering. The San Diego Jeep Club board members raffled off some swag during the lunch break just to keep things interesting.
Everybody got their tickets. Their tickets out. Please have them out. Everybody have them out. Guys, have your tickets out. Draw that number out. Three seven two nine zero four. Oh, get off, man! Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 904, 904. Who got here right after me? 904, Oh, there we go. Go ahead and pick what you like. Great job. Here, flip it. Pick one. Pick one. Okay, do you want to yell it out? <laughs> here, I'll yell you. Okay, uh, 2925. Two nine two five. Two nine two five. <laughs> Dang, two numbers all. <laughs> After lunch, the real fun began. The club's president and I departed a bit early to get set up at the waterfall obstacle. This would prove to be the challenge of the day for most, but as you'll see, even stock jeeps, and yes, even a renegade, made it through without incident. Following the waterfall, there was another challenging blind descent which slowed the train before making its way back to the parking lot where we all bid each other farewell until next time. made a bunch of wranglers look like babies play. <laughs> Come on, man. Hold that line. 
Oh, got a rear Jeep wave. Got a Jeep wave. Go back driver, sorry. There you go. Looking Keep good. Coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. And you're going to come down, and you are clearing obstacles. Nicely done. Now let's take a look at some fun we had during the pre-run for this open event. You see, this entire area is crisscrossed with trails, and some are much more challenging than others. Having scouted the trail for the open run, several of us headed off for more challenges and a good time on the trail. We tackled some large granite rocks, a very challenging switchback climb, and then had to reverse and come back down that same climb. What a thrilling day.
You know, I'm always happy to wheel with such a great group of people. In fact, if I go too long between events, I start having withdrawal symptoms, and I suspect a lot of like-minded people feel the same. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, please check that subscribe button below and hit the bell icon too to be notified of new 4 Low Rocks content. Check me out also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy wheeling!